on this computer. Let's do that. So now you are being officially video recorded, okay? Yep. Yeah, I can't hear you, sorry. <laughs> but you can hear me, right? Okay, awesome. So let me share my screen on that activity. So share screen. Let's go to question one. All right, here we go. So this part of it is basically filling up the blanks. So we know we took a $35,000 loan. So I'm just filling up the present values as 35, 35, 35, 35. Then the number of payment periods per year are monthly, so 12, 12, weekly, so 52, and quarterly, so four. Good. Let me launch my chat. Oh, there it is. Chat, 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 chat. So I can keep getting confirmation for you from you. So it's on my screen now. So is this uh, is this good? N P E R P Y good? Uh yeah. Uh. uh I don't know what's going on. No. It's not good. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, awesome. So now let's go to the PMT. PMT function is no, not PMT function, the payment per period. So 726, 870.97, 256.2, and 1115.81. Good. Oh, not there. I should type here. Good. For this, I use the rate function. For the rate function, essentially, the number of periods is 60. The payment is 726. The present value is minus 35,000. The future value is zero because we'll pay the, pay the loan down. We will do it end of the period. And my guess is my lucky number is 7%. Let me ask you. Good. Wait, uh, H2, I2, minus that, zero, zero, seven. Okay, so that's a rate function. So this will give us the rate for every month. So let me go back to our Excel. So this is gonna give, give us the rate for month. And I just need to copy and paste the formula. So control D will do it. Let me just message here. Uh, con uh, well, I'll just put it here. I pasted the formula by using control D. All right. Okay, good. The next step is APR is periodic rate times the number of periods per year. That's it, simple. And the EAR, wait, I'm waiting. 
put it in the chat. Sure, I can show you the formula for APR. Just do a control tilde. Oh, excuse me. APR is EA, uh, the periodic rate that you got times the number of periods per year. That is K2, the periodic rate, times G2, the number of periods per year. Perfect. Next is EAR. Now, uh, I'm going to use not the effect function, but I'm just going to use the conventional way. So, one, no, 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 one plus 9% divided by, well, I should just take the periodic rate and to the power of the number of periods per year. Per one plus periodic rate to the power number of periods per year. Minus one, I apologize, minus one. That is the answer. Control D, control D, control D. I can show you the formula for this as well. Here you go, one plus, the periodic rate to the power of the number of periods per year as G2 there. Oh, sorry, there. Wonderful, we're not done yet. We have to give a recommendation, so which rate is the best for us from a borrower's perspective. You can find out, right? The lowest rate from a borrower's perspective. Now, would you like me to walk you through the second question? Because I really would love to. Okay. And I'm gonna use this as a recording for the rest of the class. Do, do you have a problem with that? Awesome, outstanding. Yeah, so. Let me show you how I actually, yeah, yeah, well, let's remove that. Now, what we do in number two is just fill, out, fill in the number of things here. So it's asking us for savings. So I'm sure you've read the problem. It says that we're saving 1250 per month for whatever the number of time that's required. The cost of an aircraft today is $430,000. The rate Savings rate is 9.25% per annum compounded monthly. Compounded monthly, yes, compounded monthly. So there are 12 payment periods per year. The rate of inflation is 3.25%. Good. Yes, so now what's happening is here, we have saved money for one year. And when we save money for one year, then what happens is, let me just recreate this formula for you. Equals, well actually I could recreate it here. For now, for let's, equals FV, the rate is 9.25, fix that cell, F4, Oh, we're not uh, function F4, fix that cell, divided by the number of payments per year, that is also F4, comma, total number of periods that I'll save for, and that is time times 12, because there are 12 months in a year, comma, the payment. What am I saving? I am saving $1,250 a year, so B2, uh, a month. I apologize, sorry, sorry. 12.50 a month. And then the PV, how much did I start with today? I have nothing today, so PV zero. And the type, I'll always be saving at the end of the month. So that's the type. Any questions, Patrick? I'll wait for you to figure it out. <laughs> I 
No, there are shortcuts in Mac, actually. I think the control key in Mac is the command key. Command, if you use command D, I think it should uh, copy the formula at the bottom. Or you can just do control C. Instead of control C, you should use con command C and command V. That'll work. I'm sure it'll work. I have used it with my students in other classes. So take your time, take your time. And instead of using the F4 key in Mac, use the dollar sign directly. That's what my recommendation is. By the way, this should go in the cell G4, okay? This should go here. And I've used I3, so I3, I should use B2. That's not a problem. It's the same number. Notice how this F4 cell does not have a dollar sign because it'll, as we paste it down, the time will change. And as the time changes, I will have more compounding periods. What is the answer in G5? Well, G4, G4. You got the same? I'm guessing you got it. Okay, awesome. Whew. Let's go to H4 now. H4 is basically, look, the cost of the plane was $430,000, right? Now what happens is after one year, it becomes bigger by one plus inflation. One plus inflation. And I'm fixing cell but not the previous cell. And I'll explain it in a minute why. So first let's understand. This is the value of previous value, the beginning value of the aircraft as of the beginning of the year. By the end of the year, the value grows by inflation rate. So end of the year value is greater than the beginning of the year by 3.25%, okay?
Perfect. Now, last one is equal payment. The question essentially says that what is the payment you should add up within that time period to be able to buy the plane within that year? So here's what we did. And I'll demonstrate to you what I did here in this cell, okay? So equals PMT, the payment, the rate at which oh, I'm saving good. the money is 9.25%. I can help you that much. Divided by 12. That's my equal payment. Um, no. I should fix the rate yeah. cell. So I don't know why. That in a minute. Fixed it. Oh, sorry. It's, it's like just me and him. He's like going through his exercise. Uh, oh, got it. Yes. So 9.25%. Fix that. Divide by 12 because there are 12 yeah. payments per year. All right, please. Then the next is number of periods. So number of periods is since this is one year, I have made 12 payments. So F4, the cell F4 times 12. That's I have made 12 payments. That's the number of periods. Then the next argument is the present value, meaning how much did I start with? So I started with $0. How much do you want me to end with? I want to end with the value of the aircraft, which is 443975. I want to end with that. And type, I'll make a monthly payment at the end of the month. So to repeat, the rate is 9.25%. The number of periods is that particular year, one year, two year, three year, et cetera, times 12 months. The zero is for end of the month. No, the present value, I started with nothing. The H4 is for the value of the aircraft. And zero is for the type, beginning of the period or end of the period. So you can see I got the same answer as already there. We discussed this in the class earlier this morning. Got it. Then I'll tell you the implication of this once you tell me you got it. You got the number. Can I show again? You want to see the formula? Yes, sure. Here you go, sir. So this is uh, Mr. King. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for doing now, this. I can't hear anything. Can you hear me now? I put on the headphones or something. Maybe the volume. No, the volume is not muted. Oh, the volume was muted. Ah, <laughs> darn. I My volume was muted. I was actually playing YouTube music while yeah. working. Ah, now I can hear you. So, yeah. hi, Mr. King. No, I cannot hear you. Maybe I cannot hear you. I don't know. I can did hear me? somebody saying something. Hello. Hello? Yeah, I can hear. That's Patrick, right? Yeah. Okay, Patrick. I muted my own computer audio. I apologize for that. No problem. Okay, so you wanted me to tell you about this formula, right? PMT, B4, B4 is a rate, divided by 12, F4 times 12, and zero is for the present value. I started with zero dollars, and I'm ending up with the value of the aircraft. So it's essentially assuming if you start with nothing and saved up for one year, how much do you need to save up to pay for the aircraft fully? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Did you get the same answer? Yeah, I just I just finished typing it in. All right. So you got the same answer? Yep. All right. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going to copy and paste this formula in a number of ton of cells here. And um, I'll let you do that. So control C, command C for you, Patrick, since you're a Mac. To, okay, how many periods does it have to go down? Because we only have green cells down to F9. I know, I know, I know. The reason I put five green cells only is because I wanted you to think. So just go down 10, first of all, okay? Go down till 10. Okay. Okay, and then you'll see what? You'll see that you've saved up $245,000 at the end of the 10 years, right? 
Uh, I only have uh, the first year done right now. I haven't copied anything else. Okay, so just go down um, and select it has like to this. be a negative Shift. present value, right? Or negative, yeah, negative present value. Wait, what's the question again? Just because I got, I'm getting a negative number in my second year right now, and I don't know why. Okay, that could be because have you looked at the formula? So let's go to the second year. Let's look at our formula. Here is a formula. Check your formula with compare it with mine. It should be B4 by 12. B4 is invariant, has to have two dollar signs. F5 times 12, that is the number of periods you've saved up so far, minus B2 or I3, doesn't matter to me. Okay, yeah, it is the payment that you make. I don't know what I did, honestly, but. I, I can just I can just copy like do a command D. Okay, now I I got it now. Ah, uh, command D is good. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. And then do a command D, do a command D all the way through. You should get the same numbers as me. Yep. Perfect. So basically, you do Shift Control N, uh, Shift Control right arrow. Oh, con Shift Command right arrow. Control C. That is Command C. Uh, and then just shift go down and paste it. Commands. You want me to go to a tenth year? You said. As go to twentieth year, sir. As a, enjoy. Okay. If you don't enjoy it, there's no point in doing it. Gotcha. Okay, so then. I'm also having some fun at my end. What is mm. Okay, what's up? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. 5.16. I I only went to a twentieth year, so I'm at, I at the one one eight two three three. Okay, now so do you want to try describing to me what that one one eight two point three three means? Um, that's the payment you'll make after the twentieth year for no. the aircraft. Yes, 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 yes. Correct. That's the payment you need to make for twenty years to be able to pay for a value of $815,000. Okay. Well, actually you'll end up with $861,000 if you keep on accumulating $1250 per month. So clearly let's compare. What are we saving? We are saving 1250, correct? Yep. Now if I save $1250 a month for 20 years, I'll end up with this $861,000 number. This one. Yep. But if I save 1182.33 per month, then I'm done. All I need is I can buy the aircraft. Got it. So the answer is you need to be saving 1250 between 19 and 20 years. Okay. So you're done, right? Activity is done. Yep. I just have to, I, I didn't end up, uh, I got to finish question one, but I know how to do hey, it all. How so. can I help you? No, I this think I could. Fun. I think I can go through it by myself because I got the whole uh, the first the first year done. So now I can kind of just like look off the formulas of those and go through. Yeah, it. well, thanks to you, I have a video of this now. I'll upload it to YouTube and share it with the rest of the class. You, sir, have done a great service for the class today. Happy to do it. Thank you for help. <laughs> Thank you for the help. Thanks. Hold on, let's let's see if Mr. King has any questions. Mr. King, you're you've joined us. Do you wanna ask any questions? Yeah, no, I, I, I had question two pretty well done. I had it the same. Um, I lost connection during question one, so I was a little confused. Uh, honestly the their uh, the net per Y N P R P Y, yes. Yeah, N P R P Y. Um, I was just reading it wrong. So now you, uh, Patrick also asked me the same question. So NPRPY is the number of periods per year. How many periods per year do you compound the payments? So in yeah. a year we have 52 weeks or four quarters or 12 months. That's all, that's all that we need. Awesome. 
Yeah, I, I, uh, you have served I had... the class well. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You I don't think I need to have my office hours tonight now. Thanks to you, no. Patrick, and thanks to Mr. King. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.